If you need to go through my Instagram, go ahead. I really don't have anything to hide. It's not like you don't already have my location. It's not like I haven't already given you the passcode to my phone. It seems like nothing works with you. And I refuse to be controlled through fear and insecurity. That is no way to live. And nothing is working. You put all these limitations and restrictions on me. It's like every time you have a thought, a negative thought associated with fear, whatever commitment we made to one another changes with your emotions. And that's the problem in a lot of relationships, whether it's male or female. Like, I'm not Jesus. I'm not dying on the cross for someone else's sins. So before you get in a relationship, sometimes you need time outside of the relationship to heal. To get over whatever happened, to learn how to be yourself, be comfortable in your own skin, and love yourself. Because a lot of stuff that people go through be so traumatic that, you know, he's lashing out at her right now, but somebody actually hurt her. That's all that is. And that she wear her insecurities on her sleeve to as though she's going through his phone. She has his location. I have no problem with giving the location, you know, but at the same time, in my situation, like, I don't see a problem with that because something could happen and that somebody needs to know where you are, right? You know, but, but in this situation, it's like location, passwords, looking through your phone. It's like, dude, you are a prisoner in this situation. And then, you know, and sometimes you keep feeding the beast. Here's the passwords. Here's this. Here's the location. Yo, in a relationship, you're still entitled to privacy in your space and you have to set boundaries. This been going on too long to as though now he's having a meltdown. He should have nipped that in the bud early on in the relationship and set boundaries. Understanding trust is too fragile to break, but you got to trust me until I give you a reason not to. Again, I'm not Jesus. I'm not dying on the cross for nobody's sins. Before we get in relationships, we need to take, excuse me, we can't relationship hop rather. We got to give ourselves time to heal, time to process what we went through. And we cannot, and I really mean we cannot take past relationships out on new people that we bring in our lives. Because what we could do, we could run a good person away. And you got to learn to trust again. Don't get in a new relationship until you learn to trust again. It's like I got to spoon feed you every two weeks the same thing that we've already talked about. As far as I'm concerned, none of this helps. The damage is already done. What do you mean the damage is done? The damage of your father never being there for you. The damage of you never feeling the love of a father. The damage of your mother choosing men over you. I Whoa, that's a little, that cut a little deep because what I was getting out of it is that maybe her insecurities lie in her relationship with men, not necessarily the relationship with her mother or her father and what choices her mama made when it came to her or her father not loving her. Can that lead to insecurities? Maybe, but nah, I doubt it. A lot of women insecurities don't come from their mom picking men or from their father not loving them right. What happens is with mom picking men, um, typically women start picking their kids when they have kids because their mom didn't pick them. And then when it comes to their father not loving them, what happens is they love the wrong people and they learn um, what love is the hard way, not necessarily insecurities where somebody got to go through your phone. And a lot of times, these women can be out here sleeping with other men. So they think you're doing what they doing because a woman can get away with shit that men can't. A woman don't have to text a nigga good morning every morning and whisper sweet nothings and all this stuff. If a woman cheating on you and a guy on the side is getting his pussy and he don't have to do anything, he cool with that. He'll be the side nigga. But the other way around, when it's a man cheating on his girl with a woman, he got to try to balance two relationships and do a whole lot of lying. So the dynamic is different. So women sometimes think that a man, for the most part, have the same leverage when it comes to cheating as they do when men really don't. Paying the price for your father and all your exes who abused and took advantage of you. I've been with you for three years and I've never cheated on you. Yet every day I feel accused. You question every decision I make, everything that I do out of fear and insecurity. And if you don't have control, absolute control, then you absolutely don't know how to act. If you Three years of going through that, man, God bless you. I know that had to be tough because nobody wants to be a prisoner in a relationship. They can't hang out with their friends. 
They can't go over their family member's house because they think there's a chick there waiting for you. Whenever you step out the door, you get in your car, you go and see somebody. And you cannot be in a healthy relationship with a person like that. The best bet in any situation like that is to separate. And that's the thing that's going to hurt that person the most because they really just want you. But you have to separate because it's not healthy. And you really, you know, you really can't get mad at them because you allowed it to go on. You know, you got to still have empathy for that person if you love them. But don't wait till you get frustrated like this. So give yourself time in between relationships, you know, especially after you got a bad one. Learn to love yourself. Um, remember, trust is too fragile to break. So when somebody gives you that trust, don't abuse it. Love each other, forgive each other, be patient with each other. And don't step outside on each other, Doug. It's just that simple.